We all need a little validation every now and then, especially if you happen to be a receipt. And not just any receipt, but an in-app purchase receipt. Hey everyone, this is Brian, and in this video, we're gonna be diving into the into remote receipt validation, but before we do, please take a moment to hit that like button. It goes a long way to keep the content a coming. So, remote receipt validation, what's the deal? Well, when we get a receipt from the App Store, we need to check if it's a real receipt versus a forged receipt. Now, we could locally validate it, but Apple recommends that you actually do validation via your own servers. By using our own server, we can contact the App Store directly and get the decrypted content contents. By contacting our server first, as opposed to going to Apple directly, we prevent a man-in-the-middle attack in this, and thus guarantee that the receipt information is genuine. Now, setting up servers and writing scripts, especially if you don't know server-side scripting, can be a little too much. For the purposes of this demo, we'll host our server on Heroku, and then we'll use the, the Lionheart project over at GitHub to talk to Apple. This is just a simple validator. Of course, being that your revenue is on the line in a production environment, you would either write your own or do extensive testing on such a framework. Now, once we have our server all set up, we'll alter the app to make a receipt validation call. So let's get to work. Before we get started, you need to have a Heroku account. If you don't have one, head on over to heroku.com and set one up. Heroku is a service that charges by the usage. Now, thankfully, they have free tiers, and that's what we're going to be using. Once you have your Heroku account set up, head on over to the Lionheart GitHub repo. So here I have it open on my tab here. You can do a search for in-app purchase receipt verifier here, and you can see the URL is right here. Now, what I want you to do is copy the clone URL. So here we have our clone. I'm going to do this, select that, and we'll copy. Now what I want you to do is open up your terminal. Now I'm going to CD to my desktop. And then what I'm going to do is clone the repo. Okay, I've got that all set. Now what I want to do is open up the playground that's included. I'm just going to minimize my terminal. I'm going to be using that later. I'm going to open up this here and you'll see that this contains a playground file. This is called IAP verifier key generator. So open that up. This is going to launch Xcode. So what this playground is going to do, it's going to generate an RSA key. The web app will use this key to send data back to your app, which you can validate with a public key. So let's run the playground. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open up my console here and you can see I have a private key and I have a public key. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this public key. I'm going to be using this in just a bit. Now I'm going to head back to the GitHub repo. So I'm going to open Safari here and I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see a button that says to deploy to Heroku. So I'm just going to click that. In order for this to work, you're going to need to be logged in, of course. And I'm going to give this an app name. So we'll call this in-app purchase validator. The region is the United States. And now we need to get our shared secret. We'll get that in just a moment. But if we keep on scrolling down, you'll see the base64 encoded signing key. This is where we're going to paste our private key. Now let's go up to our app specific shared secret. I'm going to open up a new tab and Go to iTunes Connect. Make sure to log on. And I'm going to select my team. And once you're here, select My Apps. Next, you want to select the Insomnia Owl IAP, or whatever you named your app. Then you're going to click on Features. Over here on the right, you'll see this link that says App Specific Shared Secret. Click on this link. In my case, I already have my secret generated. If you don't, there'll be a button to generate it. So just click that button. Once you have it, select the, your shared secret and copy it. Next, return back to your app on Heroku and just paste it here. I'm going to keep on scrolling down. 
everything looks good. Now what I'll do is press this link. What's going to happen is it's going to pull in that repo from GitHub and it's just going to build out my app on, uh, on Heroku. And this could take a few minutes. So just sit back and get a drink. Okay, you can see my app was successfully deployed. I'm gonna click this manage app button here. And I'm interested in the settings link here. So I'll click on that and I'll scroll down. And this is actually, that's not it. I'll keep on scrolling. This here is the link to my new app. So we're gonna need this in just a moment. Okay, now we need to integrate this Lionheart receipt validator into our app. So I'm just gonna close this here and I'm gonna open up the terminal again. And this time I'm gonna CD into my receipt verifier. CD stands for change directory. And if you are kind of fuzzy on the command line, we actually have a course on it. So definitely check that out. Okay, now I'll just ls to list the directory. Everything looks good. I'm gonna type clear, that clears up my terminal. And now I want to type pod init. And this will set up my project to use CocoaPods. Now I'm just gonna vim pod file. And I wanna scroll down our mouse down here where it says pods for receipt verifier. I'm just gonna press the I button. And I'm gonna put in my pod. This is going to be called IAP receipt verifier. And then I'll press escape. Now I'll press colon W to write that and then colon Q to quit. And now I'll type pod update. And this will download my dependency. Now that was one method. You could also type in pod install as well. And that's much quicker. Okay, so we have everything all set. We no longer need the terminal, so I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open up Receipt Verifier here, and now I'm gonna open up the workspace. Okay, let's open up this here, and you can see we have our pods. Let's check out our pods, and you can see we have IAP Receipt Verifier. And if you're interested in this, you can you can check out all the various files that were incorporated in the code. And that's probably a good thing to do since this is directly affecting your revenue stream. So you can check out all this stuff here. Okay, we're interested in our view controller. So let's open up viewcontroller.swift, that's in the receipt verifier, and we'll close this out over here. And I'm gonna scroll down here and underneath the receipt, I'm gonna add a verifier property. And actually, before we do that, we need to import the IAP receipt verifier. And this property is naturally going to be an IAP receipt verifier. Now we'll scroll on down and what we're looking for is the validate receipt method. In fact, let's just look for it up here. Okay, so this is where we're gonna write some code to do a remote validation. First, we need our URL, and this will be a string. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna head back to, so I'm back here in Heroku, I'm copying my domain, and now I'm gonna switch back to my project. I'm gonna put my domain here, and I'm going to verify. So you need to make sure that's there. Let's close this over here. Now I'm gonna add my public key and I'm gonna open up the window here. I'm gonna switch over to my playground. Scroll down here and you can see my public key and I'm just gonna copy this. Now I can create the verifier. It's gonna be an IAP receipt verifier. I'm gonna pass in the URL and I'm gonna pass in the public key.
Now we'll just do an if let on the verifier. And then we will actually call it. And to have it verify the receipt, we call verify and we pass in a closure. This closure is going to pass in a receipt to us. So we'll just call this my receipt. And now we'll check to see if we actually have a receipt. If we don't, we'll simply return. This means if you get a nil result from the server, it could mean that the receipt is invalid. Something to keep in mind. And with that, we'll just print out the receipt. And that's it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is run this on our device. You're not going to see it because I'm not going to be showing you the screen, but what's really important is what's in the console. So let's open this up here. Expand this. And now we'll build and run. And you can see all the JSON that was returned to us from the server. Now we can take this JSON and ultimately convert it into objects and integrate it with the rest of the app. You see, we get all of our in-app purchase information. Pretty cool stuff. What's good about this approach is that it didn't require us to play with pointers or have a deep understanding of cryptology. This was just a simple server request. Here we use some open source tools, but feel free to create your own solution. If you have your own server, you can write this in PHP or Python or whatever language you feel comfortable with. It provides us a way to validate receipts without having to dive deep into the cryptography end of things. Have you written your own server validation code? What was your experience? And what sort of tips and tricks would you recommend? Please let us know in the comments. We would love to hear what you have to say. And in the meantime, keep on coming back for more videos on Swift and iOS development. Cheers.